Equestrian and South London party girl Hebe is taking her lack of a man very personally. There's nine million people in London and literally not one of them fancy me. Not one. I'm about to go in now. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> bye. Hello. I need help. Hebe's date is Charles, a 25-year-old fine wine merchant. If I had to create a woman from an ideal wine, she would be punchy, zingy, full-bodied. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good afternoon. Hello there. Good afternoon. You okay? What's your name, please? Charlie. Charles. Your date has arrived already. Should oh, I take fantastic. your order? Yes, please. Thank you very much. I would put myself into the bracket of eternally single. <laughs> Makes me quite sad when I say it like that. <laughs> My mum would be very happy if I brought home a girlfriend. And she said, it would be absolutely fine if you're gay. Like, you can tell me. And I was like, thanks for that, mum. Hi there. Hi, lovely to meet you. Charles. I'm Hebe. Very nice to meet you. Are you a professional dinner dater? No, I'm not. I, um, I don't do it that frequently. That frequently? I've actually no. never been on a date. You've never been on a date? No. Ever? Ever. So like, I'm, I'm never, your first date. You're literally my first date. Date virginity. This is this is quite. I feel very <laughs> <Gold> special. <star. laughs> yeah, you should feel very. You're very. Wow. Privileged. Okay. Don't yeah. No, no. Indeed. Indeed. My mum always says, like, he would have to come from a similar background. Every Sunday morning, I get a text about nine. Have you got anyone for me to look up? Have you got anyone for me to research? I'll be back in yeah. 30 seconds, I hope. By all means. She actually gets this app thing and she like pays to find their postcode. So she like finds their family tree. And she's like, oh, and what about his brother Jack? And I'm like, who's the Jack? And she goes, oh, I looked him up. His brother Jack does this. She goes, oh, you'd be a much better option, he be. <laughs> she's nuts. All I have, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie's all I have. I don't have a surname. <laughs> I can't ask him, Mum, come on, I can't ask him for a surname. It's weird. I don't have a surname for him yet. <laughs> you can look up a Charlie, he works in wine, you might be able to find him. I know you're a bit crazy, but I'm sure you can find him. Thanks, Mummy. Right, I'll speak to you later. Love you, bye, 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 bye. So, are you living your dream? How's it going? Yeah, no, very well, thank you. So where's home? Um, home, home is Warwickshire. So we just sort of live on a, a family estate. Hmm. I love horses. I love riding horses. I've done it since I was three. Like I absolutely adore it. I tried for Rio last year. Oh, so seriously, seriously. Quite serious. Yeah. That no, must have been really difficult. I was on the development program, so. For for Rio. For the Paris. Yeah. Paris was like the best opportunity for me ever around you. So you said you, you're on the tra you're on the training program for for the Paris. For the Paralympics. Oh wow. What what? Yeah. So I actually have no legs. Oh wow. Sorry. <laughs> I had so you know your Achilles. Yeah. So I had when I was born like it was really tight. I was basically born with something called clubfoot. I had them both operated on, so I had 72 stitches on both legs. And I remember saying to my mum once, oh, mummy, where are, the, where are the lines at the back of your legs? And she was like, oh, <laughs> I don't have them, it's just you. <laughs> it basically said, when I was born, like, you're never going to be able to walk. And a big fuck you, because yeah, I'm like, riding. And... <laughs> I'm actually going for it.